This demonstration will show you how to replace a broken tilt latch on your single or double hung window. The tools and parts you will need include a flathead screwdriver and left or right tilt latches. All right, for the Belmont and Belmont Plus series windows, unlock the sash and raise the window sash about 12 inches. Slide the tilt latches inward and tilt the window sash towards yourself. Slide the tilt latch mechanism out. You may need a flathead screwdriver to do this. Check to make sure that the tilt latch that you are replacing is the proper one for the sash. Insert the new tilt latch back into the slot. Make sure that the tilt latches are pushed all the way in. Tilt the sash up into position, ensuring that the tilt latches click and slide the sash up and down to ensure it moves smoothly. Lock the sash in place. This demonstration will show how to replace a broken tilt latch on a Supreme single or double hung window. The tools and parts needed will include a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and a Robinson screwdriver, as well as a left or right tilt latch. The Supreme series sash will have to be removed to replace the tilt latch. Slide the bottom sash up about 12 inches. Slide in the tilt latches on each side of the top of the sash inward and tilt the window towards yourself until it is horizontal to the floor. With one hand close to the pivot point on one side of the sash, lift and gently push down the opposite side of the sash until the pivot bar releases from the balance shoe on either side. The balance shoe should stay locked in place. The balance shoe should be in the middle of the track. If by chance the balance shoe uh, released and sprung up. A flathead screwdriver will be needed to turn the latch down and slide the shoe back to the midpoint position. Ensure that the black piece in the middle of the balance is turned in the upright position to lock it in place. Once you have the sash out, you will need a flathead screwdriver to help pop out the thumb bolts on the tilt latch. You will then have to remove the lock from the sash. Unscrew the old lock with a Robertson screwdriver. Starting from one end, use your flathead screwdriver to gently pop up the sash cover. Remove the cover from the sash. Unscrew the old tilt latch, one screw on the top and one on the side, and then slide the tilt latch out. Ensure that the proper tilt latch is replaced. Slide in the new tilt latch and screw it back into place into the original screw holes. Making sure that the cover is centered, engage the front edge of the cover, then tap the outside edge of the cover in place with a plastic mallet. Install the lock by aligning it with the screw holes. Make sure you do not over tighten the screws as this will strip the vinyl. Insert the thumb bolts into place by pressing firmly. Now install the sash back into the frame. Hold the sash horizontally with the exterior side facing up. Place one hand close to the pivot point and insert the pivot bar into the balance shoe. Gently pull down on that side and raise the other side to align the opposite pivot bar with the balance shoe. Okay. When aligned, insert the pivot bar into the balance shoe. With the two pivot bars now inserted in the balance shoes, even out the sash and tilt it up into position ensuring that the tilt latches click Slide the sash up and down to ensure it moves smoothly. Lock the sash in place.